we are going to make our ladybug cake and for this we're going to need to actually carve it out a little bit so we get a nice round shape for the moment i'm just going to remove this portion that's going to be our ladybug's face and you can just basically use a regular uh, short kitchen knife which is very great for carving and what you want to do is round out the top of this edge so i'm just going to start going to go into our cake not too deep try to keep it even all the way around so you get the same amount of cutting all the way around and then you'll just remove that and then you can go back around and just give it a little bit more carving so you get an even even roundness on the top you can also use the edge of your knife to kind of just guide you so that you get a nice round carving all the way around. Now if you need to, you'll cut away just a little bit to make sure that it's even. Again, you're just going to use your knife as your guide around the cake so you make sure that it's even. And we'll just cut away just a little bit. Alright, that side is even. Alright, so that's pretty even. We'll scrape that all away. We'll put our ladybug back, take a look at it, and make sure that it's... I think that's pretty good. I don't think we need to cut it anymore. So what we're going to do is, we'll give it a little more icing, and then we're going to put it back in the fridge while I prepare my fondant just want to add just enough just to give it a nice covering never want to add too much icing when you're going to work with fondant because then that causes air bubbles and you don't want to not put enough icing because then you'll see the cake through the fondant Alright, so I'm just going to go back and smoothen it out. Alright, we'll just stick our ladybug's head back here for the moment. We'll stick this in the refrigerator and while I prepare the fondant, it should chill just enough.